Alright folks, this is just a quick second channel video because David2 here is about to attempt to use the notoriously bad VK Precision, what is it? 1697 power supply and I told him to expect this to be the worst user interface in the history of user interfaces and that he couldn't get it to work first go. So take it away. I've been issued a challenge. You have been issued a challenge. Go for it. Ah, yeah, switch on the back. I will now shut up. I just put this down here so, I can, so the camera can see it. Oh, no. It's going to reach. There you go. Does the camera see the. No, yeah, I think so. Okay, let's. Well, if you do it in HD, yeah, you'll see it. There are a lot of buttons that say on. <laughs> this one says on off and this one says on and up all right maybe that's down dn yeah it's down so let's try what program uh 10 that's yes so 10 volts at 0.1 amp it sounds good enter i set i won't do that b set now it says 2 volts, that was 21 volts. <laughs> what is this? I want to clear everything. Oh no. Does this, does this click? No. Oh! Okay, so that's the... Then what's this value when I hit set? It's unlocked. They have a lock and unlock button for some reason. Output. I don't want to step. Why would I want to step? Is it on? No. This is on AC. There we go. Is it? No. There we go. That's better. On, 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 90 volts, no. Okay, going through the brute force method, every possible combination of buttons. Just going to eliminate the top, because that seems to be just changing the current set you're on. What was that? Program? Enter. Hmm. Program? Program. Program. Recall. Program. <laughs> Shift. Program. <laughs> the, the. Oh, I'm stuck in this menu. Damn it. Clear. What? <laughs> this is the stupidest thing. Dave was not kidding. So what have you managed to do so far? Sorry, I've got to I talk. have no idea. You haven't even managed to turn the output voltage on yet, have you? I've set a voltage I want. I've got four volts, and I've set a current limit, but I can't get it out. On. <laughs> it says on, off. Why is that a thing? And then there's nothing that indicates... So I think it wants me to do like shift this. But shift doesn't do anything. <laughs> do I have to hit both at the same time? <laughs> it says shift! And then I hit on! And it doesn't do anything! <laughs> hey! Done! That took a while. <laughs> four volts. Oh my gosh, okay. How that, long was that? Uh, it was like, that was like a good three, I don't know, four minutes. <laughs> 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 Just to set the voltage. You have to double tap it. What the hell was that? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the 
Thomas the F. <laughs> you you didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> I had no idea it'd be that bad. No, no, like this supply is like super intuitive. <laughs> So you managed to figure out how to set the current and voltage? Yep, 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 yep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go in and, and adjust the current now. Okay. Go in and adjust the current with the knob. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So we're, got, so we're going to set to 5 volts, even though it's still not doing that. There you go. Okay. Program. Doesn't want to do the shift, you know. Shift. That. Remote. <laughs> it's that button. Uh, I just want you to change the current. I also want. I need to short it though. No, no. I just want. You I want to change. I want, I'm changing that for the camera. Yep. To the camera should know that that will not change. Oh no no no! Of course. The camera. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's the set point. There's yeah, a difference yeah. between the set point and the display point current. Yeah. Yeah. Program. That sounds right. Cancel. Yes, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> Why? Who designed this? They have bad <laughs> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Output. OP. OP stands for... Something. <laughs> Output. I locked it. Damn it, I don't want that. Why, why is there even a remote button? What? What is remote? RS-232 remote control, oh. presumably. Oh, okay, I don't want to do that at all. Or it. actually, there might be a terminal on the back that allows remote um, uh, switching of the output off and on. Actually. Oh, okay, okay. Like an actual remote control digital pin. Oh, I did it! You did it! You walked around! Oh, you what? missed my moment of success. There you go, there you go, we finally got it. You just keep hitting enter. <laughs> <laughs> Not down. <laughs> Which makes sense. Right, let's, actually, I do want to set a value. I want to set a 20 amp. Okay, now it's not so bad, now that I have like a vague idea of what the hell it's doing. But is that the world's most <laughs> ridiculous user interface? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is this? Shift, the way it handles shift, it like cancels if you're not... <laughs> it's like caps lock shift. <laughs> it, it's like, and then it's got a timer, so it's timed caps lock shift. It's like, then if you do it the wrong time, it just hits cancel and does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I told ya! <laughs> and then the, the misleading part is you can actually lock the thing so it does nothing regardless. <laughs> what? <laughs> why is that a feature? Look, why would anyone want that? <laughs> what if we want to turn it off suddenly? <laughs> oh, there you go. I told you so. Oh, tell everyone, you're a bit of a GW Instec fanboy now. I am. Look at this thing. Dave thinks it's a toy. I think it's beautiful. Well, it looks like a toy. I think it's beautiful. Look at these. Look, look, look. This button here, for example. If I hit measure, add measurement, and then let's say I want it to go in here, and I, I'm selecting an item. Let's let's mm. do the average of the wave. Usually on scopes, you'd you'd fumble around and try to click this down. You'd miss the item. You'd be like, click, and then you'd miss it. I'm sure everyone can relate. But so yes, a separate a separate button to physically select it. It's brilliant. I just added a lot of measurements of mead. <laughs> and you were within ten minutes of using it. You said you wanted to buy one. Yes. Yeah. I I hate the ones that do that. I just yeah the Rigol. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do an upgrade video where I upgrade the uh, rotor encoders in the Rigol so that when you push it, it doesn't accidentally rotate and choose a wrong value. Yeah. Not yep. to mention this screen is beautiful. Yep, yeah, I admit yeah. It's, it, it, it is bright. Yeah, it's got a logic analyzer, yeah. it's got a good function generator. It's got dual function. Yeah. Dual function, Jen. Yeah. Nothing gets that. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, folks. I think he's a GW Instec fanboy. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> Say bye-bye. See ya.